What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're talking about a farm for the series uh, Solo Steady Gold Farm. And if you guys have missed out on these videos, it's basically just me doing a bunch of farms that is considered really steady. So we're farming usually materials, something that sells way faster than transmog and battle pets that can uh, generate you a lot of gold, right? So if you hate going out looking for the big ticket item like just praying to RNGs, and you don't like like investing a lot of time farming up a big auction house with the mocks to uh, generate steady income, then these uh, farms are great for you. So if you missed out on any of those, you can find the complete playlist with all these farms down in the description down below. And I'm uploading like roughly a video per day, like a steady solo uh, gold farm video daily almost daily sometimes i might miss it by a day but like almost daily videos on this and uh in today's video we have a farm that i've done before but the gold per hour has changed drastically and it's the albino cave fish if you guys don't know what the albino cave fish is it's pretty much a material that you can fish up from the uh albino cave fish schools and it's a material needed to craft a deep stone oil and the deep stone oil is a material needed to craft the mount, right? So you definitely need to uh, to farm this. Like you got to get on this one because there's so many people um, crafting the vial of sand, which is the mount that these are used for. So uh, go out there, farm the albino cave fish. If you have alchemy, you can use alchemy to make it into the uh, the vial, not the vial of sand, the deep stone oil, and you might make more gold on. Uh, doing it that way instead of just selling the albino cave fish raw as it is because it's literally the only uh, use for the albino cave fish but luckily for us there's a lot of people crafting vial of sand and there's a lot of vial of sands uh, selling ask any like big crafter out there like getting out hands on the vial of sand recipes like a money printing machine in most cases so albino cave fish and how to farm it really really simple it can only uh, you can only get the albino cavefish schools in a deep home, and I got a map right here of the different schools, the spawn points of the albino cavefish schools, and it's really really simple. Like this cave that I'm in right here at the crimson expanse, you guys can see the entrance right here, has this small water in it with a lot of schools. There's like one, two, three, four, four schools up right now. So I usually uh, fish these up and. When I'm done fishing these up, I will show you guys around. But when I'm done fishing these up, I'll go up into the crimson uh, expanse. Like this is a giant water because you can't just stick to the crimson expanse because you're going to be too fast. You're going to end up fishing up all the schools and you have to go somewhere else to fish while the, uh, the schools respawn at the crimson expanse. Now, keep in mind, I don't use any fishing items or anything like that. I Normally, I absolutely hate fishing. So, you guys who probably enjoy fishing and have like your fancy legendary fishing pole and all of that, it's definitely going to be able to do this faster than me. Uh, you guys probably got add-ons and so on to make it easier for you as well. well I don't, right? But uh, when it comes to Gold Pro Hour, you guys can obviously see the title and the thumbnail of the video. But you do get like roughly 200. I got 210. Last time I did it was years ago. I got 201. And you also get to volatile water, like 30 to 40 volatile water. And uh, the total market value of this is actually really good. Like the market value of one of these is 378 gold. And it's 400 gold for a deep stone oil. But it only takes you one albino cavefish to craft an two oils right so crafting it into the oil is definitely going to make you more gold however the goblins doing these crafts they know that it's going to be uh cheaper for them to buy the cave fish and then craft it into the oil themselves so uh it really depends on the realm if you're the only guy supplying the realm then definitely sell it as the oil rather than the cave fish the albino cave fish so a combined this is like eighty one thousand gold market value however on my realm it's like 30 Two thousand golds, roughly. So, uh, like eighty thousand golds fishing for an hour is absolutely insane. And uh, I remember I used to do this all the uh, all the time back in the days. I mean, I hated fishing. I didn't make that much gold. I made like fifteen thousand gold roughly an hour back then because the prices were way lower. But however, fifteen thousand golds was really good back in the days. 
So yeah, I just go to this water and fish up all of these. I just finished uh, fishing in this pool though before I started recording this video. So there's not going to be many schools up. But the entire water is right here is just filled with schools. So it's an extremely, extremely good farm. And as you guys can see in this picture, just uh, fly, uh, take the crimson uh, expanse right here. Then go into the cave and depending on how fast you are, you can also go and check out the other waters on... Uh, on this map right here but me i'm slow i sometimes i do it sometimes i don't it really depends on how efficiently i'm doing it but that was also it for today's video so if you guys enjoyed these solo steady gold farming videos make sure you subscribe to my channel some of the videos that i'm going to make have been featured before but it's usually a long time ago so the uh Gold per hour has changed drastically and I'm guessing there's a lot of people who have followed me lately or subscribed to my channel lately that haven't seen me uh, posting these videos. And then there's also going to be some new ones. But uh, that was it. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye.